okay welcome back welcome back we're almost wrapping up with this part of the course so the next thing then is how do we integrate our payment there are platforms we call payment platforms which are used to process payments when people shop in Nigeria West Africa some of the com most popular are Flutterway, Paystack for accepting payments and internationally we have the likes of PayPal we have Stripe which means after someone buys from your site they typically should pay unless you allow the option of them you know paying on delivery which is not so so recommended especially if you operate in a country like Nigeria so you typically would need to create an account with Flutterwave or paid stack or any preferred payment integration so once you've done that what you are then going to do is to come to plugins and go and install the plugins to these platforms for example i'm going to search for the plugin to Flutterwave. oh sorry add new plugin add new Flutterwave. All right, so you see, WooCommerce Flutterwave Gaming Payment Gateway. Remember, I said that WooCommerce is the Shopify of WordPress, kind of. It is what powers shopping on WordPress. So we are to install this. You can do the same thing, the same way for Paystack. All you will need is you just need to connect your own payment account to this. All right, so there we are. It says WooCommerce Flutterwave. Can you see the plugin down here? I was saying that once you do this, what makes it connect is that you just need to log into your own account and then copy some codes, which they will ask you, as you will see soon, and paste it here, and you're good. So, mm. all right. So, first thing is see the name enable is by default on test mode. Um, what you can then do is go to is that payments? Where do we go from here? All right. So, what I've done is come to WooCommerce, click on settings and let's go to payments it seems something about the plugin not being compatible with woocommerce i can't really figure out what that is but let's try to so this is first of all where you enable the types of mm, payment method you want to accept do you want to accept cash on delivery if you want just turn it on if you want payment you know direct back transfer maybe you want to put your but i don't think these options are smart imagine you're getting like you know hundreds orders weekly and you have to verify each order by transfer it just doesn't more so flutterwave has you know this option of transfer included so let's check that and say finish setup says please enter your flutter with merchant details here so let me just show you the key things currently it's on test mode which means people can accept you can accept payments on this site even if I was let me let's visit our page again even if we attempt to buy something, nobody can pay. And that makes sense because you are still working on it. 
so which means if you are ready to go live oh i should not have gone away from this page which means it is until you are ready to go live that you should you know click on live mode but what are the key things you need you need these two key things one is the live public key and the live secret key which you would find on the settings page of your portal account i can't share mine for sure because <laughs> those are sensitive details but that's how you connect it once you get those keys you paste them here you paste the live public key here you paste the live public key and then with that the option for going live would be shown to you and you can go live and start accepting payments let's quickly see what our site would look like with that it's actually quite easy but fortunately there is no account that can be and you should not do the same even when working with clients i advise that you do this on a live session with them so that once you finish they know that there's really no way for you to access if you get what I mean so if you have to do this with your client don't have them share their payment account details with you their photo wave account because that means you can actually zap their money you can choose another account for you it's just a lot of risk so I recommend that you don't accept clients login details to their payment rather the way you should approach this is like I told you it's a very simple and straightforward thing honestly is currently on test mode what we have to do is uncheck this and then find the live public key on your settings page in photo wave or paste stack paste it here the live secret key as well paste it here and then click on save changes once you've done that your site is ready to accept payments so how do you do it set up a live call maybe a google meet call a zoom call with your client have them log into that platform on their end and then just have them navigate to their setting just direct them you can open your own and be telling them that go here go here copy this code give me the code at least with the code nothing serious can be be done at least you don't have access to their account which means you can't move money because some of these you know brands will be doing millions in sales and should anything go wrong you will be safe to say you don't have their login so this is how to approach it let me even just quickly check out that of pay stack you can enable multiple payment gateway actually so your clients can choose pay stack yeah it seems pay, pay stack has more installations over flutter wave in accepting payments i don't know what to call that but so we'll click on settings can you see the same if i click on enable so enable first of all is saying make pay stack a means of accepting payments on our site you see it also has the same thing enable test mode payment option do you want it to be a pop-up or redirect pop-up is good see the same test secret key public key those are the two things that you always need additional you don't need all these ones can you see the same thing even if you do stripe or PayPal it's always those two details that you need to make your site connected to your account so whatever payment they make here will reflect in your account and you can handle the rest so this is how you set up your shipping account and let me proceed to check out here for example we should be able to select Flutter Wave, even though it's not live yet I hope We haven't we haven't connected it so it's not live obviously but that's how you do it and if you have any questions feel free to reach out but it's very straightforward thank you see you